y'all. Jamie here from Country Diggers. Today I wanted to read in Uncle John's Bathroom Reader. Plunges into history. Okay? If y'all had not read these books, they're good. Um, but this is by, by the Bathroom Readers Hysterical Society. Okay? And I'm going to be reading on Before the Nazis Were Nazis. Okay? And um, before we get started, I know a little about history. And I know World War II happened, and I know the Holocaust happened. My grandpa was in World War II. He was in Germany at the end of the war, when, and he cleaned out the concentration camps over there, one of them. Um, he cleaned out, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was where the German citizens were pretending nothing happened. And uh, they made the citizens there clean out the concentration camps. They made them do that because the, they were pretending nothing has happened. Nothing happened. But they knew. And so that's why the troops, our troops, made them, the German citizens, clean out the concentration camp. That one, that one at least that my grandpa was at. And um, I remember when I was 16, I was having problems with depression and I was in my a hospital, first hospital. And um, I remember this guy, this man, he was a concentration camp survivor. He had the tattoo on his arm, the number tattooed on his arm. And, um, Every now and then, he would get to where he would start screaming and screaming and screaming. And um, they would put him in a quiet room. And it, it was like he was in, in that concentration camp all over again. He would be screaming and screaming in German, screaming in English to, you know, let him out or, you know... And it was horrible. It was a horrible experience for them. And I'm sorry it happened. And I'm sorry, just sorry. I, I, I know my grandpa come home with books on, books with pictures in them of what happened over there. And I seen them in pictures, the depravity of, of man what human beings can do to each other. It was horrible. But anyway, before they were Nazis. Before they were Nazis. When Hitler assembled henchmen to help him run the Third Reich, he picked an assortment of losers and failures who represented the bottom rungs of German society. Joseph Paul Goebbels, he was the propaganda master. Although Goebbels' propaganda machine praised the perfect Nordic, Nordic physique, Go, Goebbels himself had a physical disability, a club foot so badly twisted that it kept him out of World War I. Goebbels' Nazi career can be seen as desperate overcompensation for this physical shortcoming. Yet in university, Goebbels' favorite professors were Jews, and he once he he was once engaged to a Jewish woman. After graduating, he tried unsuccessfully to make a living as a writer before drifting into the Nazi Party's left wing. Heinrich Himmler, head of the Nazi police. After serving at the tail end of World War I, Himmler got a diploma in agriculture and tried his hand at chicken farming. He was a total failure, chinless and bespeckled. He worked as a salesman for a fertilizer manufacturer. But it wasn't until he joined the Nazis that he found his true calling in life as a thug. 
1929, he became head of Hitler's personal bodyguard, the SS, which he turned from a 200-man body into a 52,000-strong army by 1933. Adolf Ackman, chief executioner. As a boy, Ackman's complexion earned him the nickname Little Jew. Unable to finish his engineering studies, he worked as an ordinary laborer in a mining company run by his father. He was later a salesman for an electrical construction company before becoming a traveling salesman for the vacuum oil company. He became a Nazi filing clerk specializing in Freemasons. Hermann Goring, Hitler's number two. As a well-bred war hero, Goring was the closest the Nazis came to respectability. He once even succeeded the Red Baron as leader of his squadron of flying aces. Nevertheless, his personal life was marred by scandal. He lured a Swedish baroness to divorce her husband and marry him instead. And after the Munich Munich Putz, P U T S C H, Munich Putz, um, Goring was badly injured in the groin, <laughs> served him right, and became addicted to the morphine he used to relieve the pain. He eventually became monstrously obese too. Martin Boren, Hitler's secretary. Bormann has one of the filmiest resumes of any of the Nazis, a school dropout who worked briefly as a farm laborer. Bormann very briefly served in an artillery regiment during World War I then went straight into far-right politics, or more exactly, far-right violence. He joined a group of disgruntled former soldiers who spent their time attacking communists. He even helped murder his former elementary school teacher and served a year in prison. Ultimately, though, Borman was a, master, was a born master of office politics scheming his way to the top of the Nazi pile. Rudolf Hess, Deputy Führer. Born in Alexandria, Egypt, Hess didn't exactly live in Germany until he was 14, whereas most Nazis started their careers as losers and achieved some sort of career satisfaction by successfully wrecking havoc. Hess's career went the other way. His reputation was cemented when he went to prison, voluntarily to be with his Führer. As Hess, Hess's largely ceremonial powers began to recede, he hoped to curry favor with a strange peace mission to Scotland that ended with his being locked in the Tower of London. <laughs> Uh, Reinhard Heydrichs, Heydrich, final solutionist. Despite rumors of Jewish ancestry, Heydrichs epitomized the blind and blue-eyed Nordic idea. He was also handsome enough to attract a string of sexual partners, for one of whom he seems to have thrown away a naval career. Although he was an award-winning fencer, he was also tall and gangly, and fellow Navy comrades teased him over his high bleeding voice and musical aff affiliations. affiliations. Heydrich's career came to an abrupt end when he walked into a Czechoslovakian ambush in 1942. Yep, there's some evil people and the last bit of this is sums it up good evil is unspectacular and always human and shares our bed and eats at our own table w h alden
Well, hope you all enjoyed. See you back soon.